when it comes to, you know, you, you write a lot about politics. How do you separate out talking about religion from talking about politics? When should you speak in sort of a religious moral sense? And when should you speak in a kind of a secular sense when, when you're trying to make an argument? Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a good question. It's a balance. I am still struggling to strike myself. I can't say that I always do the best job of it. Um, but I do know that when it comes to these great moral issues in our society, like abortion, marriage, uh, you know, gender, um, that we have to be able to engage on those issues without throwing the Bible at people, especially if we're talking to people who don't believe in the Bible. Uh, because when you try to go the biblical route, you're talking to someone who doesn't believe in it, well, then you just put an extra step in your way, which is first you have to get them to believe the Bible, which is a whole different conversation and a pretty, pretty difficult one. Um, so I think that that's not the route. And instead, you have to talk about these fun, natural law, these fundamental moral truths that you have to try to connect with them on. And also logic and reason. It's something like, uh, I always cringe when I hear, when the topic is something like transgenderism, and uh, I hear a Christian say, you know, quote Genesis or something and say, well, God, male and female, he created them. I say, wait, wait, yes, that's true, but we don't even, you don't need to bring Genesis into this. It, this is a very basic logical distinction between you got men here, women here, men have penises. Uh, so, you know, the, you should be able to explain that without quoting Genesis. And um, you also give, I think, your listener an, an easy out because then they're gonna say, oh, you're just tossing a Bible at me, I'm not gonna to listen to that. Um, or uh, they'll say that, well, you know, you only disagree with abortion because you're Christian, or you only, you're only saying that because you're Christian, when really, no, even if I was not a Christian, I still would say it's not okay to kill babies, you know? Um, so I think that on, on that level, we have to be able to connect um, without religion. Although, at the same time, within the religions, um, certainly within Christianity, there are a lot of Christians who are very confused on these issues and who think that it's okay to be a Christian and endorse the killing of babies. Uh, and in that case, okay, now you're going to start throwing scripture at them and now you're really coming with the, you know, the holy, now it's a holy war because this is someone that already supposedly agrees with the basic religious premise. What, what do you think has happened to religious leadership generally? So I know that a lot of religious people, you do it, I do it, we sort of lament the fall of religious leadership, the feel that churches and synagogues are emptying out in many ways, uh, that, that too many religious leaders have decided to give sort of rote general statements about the Bible rather than some of the hard-nosed truths of the Bible. What do you think the religious community is doing wrong? What can, what can we do better? Uh, I could say, certainly with Christians, uh, what are they doing wrong? Well, that's, I mean, that's a two-hour conversation alone right there. I, I think that maybe the, the best way to condense it is to say that Churches, church leadership, um, they're trying too much to look like secular society, and they're thinking that that's the way to bring people in. And you see that even when you go to a lot of Christian ch supposed church services, um, and you walk in, and you might not even know that you're in a church. In fact, I, I remember a few years ago, I went with my wife uh, when we were living in Kentucky, and there was this weird structure that had been built near our house. We had no idea what it was. What it was. We thought it was a mall. It was, that was our best guess. And so we went one uh, Sunday after, our, after, after we went to a real church. We said, let's, you know, let's go check out this mall. We walk in and we're looking around. So we're a little bit confused. And then we realized after about 10 minutes that it's actually a church. Um, so it shouldn't be that way. That's, that's, uh, this is a church that is trying to blend in with the world, as Christians would put it. Uh, but then once you do that, it's like, what's the point? What, what are you offering? If, if, if you're aping secular society and you're offering secular platitudes and secular lessons and you're giving motivational speeches and giving financial advice and all of these things that you get in sermons these days, well, if somebody wants that, well, then why, they, why, they, why would they even go to a church? Just go to a Tony Robbins seminar, go watch Oprah, uh, go to an actual mall. I mean, go do any, go walk, walk on a beach. I mean, there are so many other things you could do if you just want sort of non-religious secular enjoyment and, uh, and uh, encouragement. So you have to give people something different because that's what people are hungering for. They, we, we're all living in this secular society. None of us are happy with it. I'm especially unhappy with, with everything, but you know, everyone's a little bit unhappy at least. And, um, and so we're, we're looking for something different, something substantive. And uh, so religion should be there to offer that thing. And I would say that from my experience, 
uh, I go to a Latin mass church, uh, which is the super, you know, crazy traditional women wear have head coverings and, uh, and all of that kind of stuff. And it's a very young church. I mean, there, there are a lot of young people in there, young families, and it's just energetic and everything. Whereas if you go to a Catholic church where they're doing the, you know, they're doing the secular choir and they're doing all that and you walk in and it's just there are are five or six old bored baby boomers sitting in the pews (laughs) yawning and it's just uh it's not working 